Hey guys, Bam here. So I thought I would give an update on the strategy Army T17. What to do and what to avoid. So first off, the most important scarab of all of these is the Cartography Scarab of Singularity. At some point I removed it and I started getting way fewer T17. And the reason why is that those unique maps can actually be converted to T17. So make sure you use that scarab, it's super important. Okay, with that being said, uh, we're still using scarab terrors, scarab duplication. I'm uh, subsiding domination scarab instead of orange scarab of pandemonium. The reason is that we get a bit less boss, maybe. Uh, if we're lucky, we get less. Uh, it, but on average, we get about the same because we get two more shrines. But since that scarab climbed up in price, it's closer to 30 chaos now. And the domination scarab is only 1 chaos. Or 2 chaos, yeah. 1 chaos and a half. It's way cheaper and pretty much does the same thing. So I would suggest just keeping this. The reason why we use this scarab is to have the modifiers to the final, final map boss. Also applies to the atlas boss. Bosses. And since we're using the domination of scarab of terrors, we don't need it. We only need one instance of it, so yeah. This Garaba will not be using, and you can use this one, as I said, instead. And the cool thing about this is instead of having to like kill every single pack and look around your map, you just have to spot the shrine, so it's actually faster. So I prefer this method, to be honest. It's way easier to do, and on average, it will net you about the same number of bosses, maybe a little few. Uh, were bosses but on average i would say it's pretty close so yeah now we'll just run the maps See how many T17 we get in a full run of four conquer maps. And you want to make sure, I've talked about it in the comments, but I actually did it in the first video. You want to make sure the maps are T16. You're doing the conquer maps because they can roll from, oops, they can roll from T7, T14 to T16. So make sure it's, um, yeah, make sure it's clean. As I said, since we don't have to search for all the packs in the map, because we're not using Pandemonium anymore, we can just spot the shrines and try to get the bosses down. Rip. Still some money, but of course, it's not what it used to be. to fortress so yeah I think like the uh using the one for that the scar that singularity that gives unique maps is really the key to the strategy this what happened there is that the unique map from that boss was actually changed into a T17 and then that T17 got doubled See if we have any other shrine. If not, we'll just go to the boss. Uh, 
like it, but we'll take a look at the north part. So you can get in between six to seven shrines with it with this, so Oops. I'm not playing too well, but... Oh, I should have... All my stuff into... Dash that, boys. Alright, now let's get down to the numbers. So how how many T17 should we get on average per map from this strategy and also the base added um, number of maps? So a misconception I've seen a lot of people talk about is if they look at the voice tone and they think it's a 0.4% chance to drop a T17 per a voice tone, but it's actually 1.6% chance to turn a T16 into a T17 and the reason why is that it says here 16 maps drop in area have 0.4% chance to become a tier 17 map for each socketed void zone so that means each uh, socketed void zone actually gives you 1.6% chance for a total of 6.4% chance to drop uh, to change it a T16 into a T17 so keep that in mind, it's not 1.6, it's actually 6.4. Alright, with that being said, let's now look at the calculation. So, if we look at our atlas, we have three basic shrines from the Domination uh, Map Device Craft. We have 1.8 from the atlas, 2 from the Scarabs I added, for a total of 6.8 shrines. So what I mean by 1.8 is that we have 1 guaranteed here, and then we have point a 20% chance here, 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 and here for 0.8% uh, chance of an additional NOLO. So 80% chance of having an additional shrine. So that's why I the number I have is 6.8. As you can see here. So we have 6.8 added shrines to our map. So that means 6.8 bosses that actually drop a unique map. And then we have the map boss, so the normal map boss, and then it can be accompanied by one to three additional bosses from Maven. So that means, on average, two. So if we make the total out of it, it's 9.8 bosses. This is just the T17 form from this strategy that you can get. So you have 9.8 additional maps that are unique that can be turned into a T17. All right. Now we have a 30% chance, additional chance for the um, cartographer, cartography scarab of duplication. So if we do the math, okay, if we do the math, we have 9.8 bosses that can that drops a unique, so it's a guaranteed unique, so 1.141, one right, and then. We have 6.4 chances of having that unique uh, upgraded to AT17. And by the way, for the people who are not sure, yes, it can upgrade to T17. Just look at it. If you run this strategy, sometimes you will not drop unique maps and it will be T17. So that means that unique was transferred into a T17. So 9.8 multiplied by um, multiplied by 0. 0 0.064 for the 6.4% chance and then we have 62% chance to drop a T17 and then when once we get this we have 30% chance to drop a T17 so multiply by 1.3 because as I said it can be dupl duplicated so if we, on average 
just from this strategy, not counting any normal T16 drop that can actually go to T17, just the bosses that drop a unique, we're getting 0.8 T17 per map on average. I don't know if you're following along the math, but yeah, this is it. So that's why I was getting so many uh, uniques before. And when I ran the, the one I did yesterday without the Scarab of Hilarity, it wasn't as rewarding because most of the T17s will actually come from uniques uh, transferring into T17. So yeah, th there's the math. Hope it helps. And uh, yeah, if you run a couple of maps, you will see the difference. That scarab is the reason why it's working. So the combination of this scarab plus that one is super useful. And that's why we're using those for scarab. As I said, the two additional shrines could be changed to um, these scarab. But as I said, the price now is too high on those. So just skip them. Uh, it's a bit lower having two shrine instead of the 15% the chance to get a random atlas plus. But for the cost, I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, hope this helps. And for the people struggling, just follow step by step the exact scarab. Remember, uh, cartography scarab singularity is the reason why we're getting so many T17. And remember, you can also get normal T17 from upgraded T16. Uh, hopefully this helps you and as always take care guys